Hobart's been told it has the potential to become Australia's greatest city, but it needs to break one big habit, its love affair with cars. The advice comes from world-renowned architect Jan Gale, who's helped put together stage one of the Hobart City Council's inner city development plan. Danish architect and urban planner Jan Gale isn't worried about creating controversy. I have a return ticket. That means that I can say things which many locals cannot get away with. The man who convinced New York City Council to remove cars from Broadway has created a vision for Hobart which involves transforming Davy and Macquarie streets into tree-lined boulevards with wider footpaths and bike lanes. He also recommends transforming all one-way streets into two-way and less or no parking in the city centre, waterfront and Salamanca. This city, more than it should have been, has been become dominated by traffic, uh, has been dominated by, by parking, also using the waterfront for parking. No other city in their mind would think about it. The urban planner says Salamanca in particular is wasted on cars. You have all the cafe tables there and then you have the solid row of parked cars eating from the hand of those sitting having dinner. It's very few cities in the world where they invite the cars to the dinner table. Hobart Lord Mayor Rob Valentine is prepared for the backlash. There are going to be people that are for and against aspects of it and, and we're really wanting to hear what the people have to say so we have to be prepared to take uh, whatever it is they do tell us. I do think that Hobart is a fabulous city which needs a broom. Whether Hobart Council is prepared to wield that broom will become clear after a six-month public consultation. Cara Douglas, ABC News.